Some white lady detective came to talk to me today. Says so she heard they can't even put that bad crack on the street. That's just not going nowhere. Don't worry. This white lady cop had all sorts of questions about Kanan. I want to throw light on something that we should possibly expect in episode 7. Now you remember when Detective Beck was investigating the drug that got Nicole killed, she approached Jukebox about it and making some theories that even has to do with DVs and Buck 20. Now what happened? Juke told Raquel about Beck's approach and the fact that she is digging into Canaan. Raquel says she shouldn't worry because that is not going anywhere. And she also says sometimes the cops are good friends to have. Now, Detective Beck has questioned the lady hooking up with Howard and she got one thing to start working with, which is Howard having a son. And now that she has seen Kanan with Howard at the station, she wants to fully understand the relationship between Howard and Kanan and why he always defends him and do things in his favor. Part of the reason she is questioning Busket here again about Kanan. Question is, how did she even know Symphony knows Kanan? You remember Symphony picked up Kanan at the police station when he and Scrappy fought and Howard took them in. Now, Detective Berg was there when Symphony had that heated exchange of words with Howard before sending Kanan away. Now, that look she gave was the moment she ID Symphony. So she might have looked him up in the records or saw him in town and tracked him down. And that is why she seemed asking him about Kanan. But I'm sure Symphony might try playing some tricks like he doesn't know who she is talking about. Then Berg will refer him to the day he picked up Kanan at the station. However, this interrogation will not get Berg the right answers she wanted. It will only earn her another mark with Raquel. Now, question is, what will Raquel do with this new information about the same person? At first, she took it for granted when Juke told her. Will she take it for granted again? My answer is no. This move is a threat to Raquel now. It's either she finds a way to silence Detective Berg, or she moves to Howard to warn his partner. Now, what are the possible options? If Raquel doesn't want Howard to suspect her in any cop's death, she will not say anything at all to Howard about his partner. She will just go ahead and take Detective Beck out. Now, if another cop is killed within this short period, the only person who will suspect Raquel is Howard. Maybe this was the reason he approached her here. Or maybe Raquel wanted Howard to warn his partner indeed. Now, if I must predict who Raquel is pulling up on in this scene, my guess will be Detective Beck or this crackhead guy. Let me know who else you think Raquel could be pulling up on. Now, usually I don't do trailer breakdowns because trailers are meant to tell different stories. They mostly end up differently in the main video because different scenes are matched with other unrelated ones to make a different meaning. So if you are not careful on how to break down a trailer, you end up lying in your theories. But let's see what happens in episode 7. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section and I'll respond as soon as I see it. I'll see you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.